And now we're ready to save it again. So control S to save. And it's going to go in the finished pages folder one more time. We'll keep it at page 2-3 so we know that that's our 2-3 spread. Now we need to do a couple things. First we'll flatten it so we can save the JPEG. But your lab may or may not want you to separate them. So in this case we're just going to assume that your lab wants these two page spreads to be separated into two 10 by 10s. So what we're going to first do is crop. So I'm going to set the width and the height for 10 and crop the left side. So now we have a 10 by 10. I'm going to save as, this is going to go in the JPEGs folder as a JPEG and it's going to be called page 002. This will be the left side. Now what we need to do is press Control, Alt, and Z to undo the last step, which will give us back our entire image, and then do the same thing to the right side. Now we're going to Control, Shift, S to save as again, only this time it's going to be page 3. Okay, now it's time for a new document. This will be our page 4-5 spread. Drag out a guide right in the center. Jump over to bridge. And open these up in Photoshop. And then once again, drag them to your canvas. and convert them to smart objects. And this one, I can tell it's going to be my background, so I'll put that at the bottom. I'll hide it for now. And once again, I'll transform all these just to make it easier on myself. Now I can kind of position the background image. And I can play around with the positioning of the smaller images. I'll add another stroke. And then using the same technique as before, I'll just hold Alt and copy that stroke to the rest of the layers by dragging it to each layer. And I want to be able to see this sign right down there at the bottom in the middle. So I don't want that to be bisected in any way. So I'll just move these guys over real quick. And I think that's pretty much good enough for another spread.